Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This week I have been quite busy, but we managed a fair bit of building on the clone base. I made these triangular wedge shaped window frames and I wanted to make something that looked like it was from the clone era and they often have angular windows, same as the imperial architecture as well though, but you get what I mean. It is a bit tricky to do this and you need to use a combination of snot bricks or washing machine bricks as we call them and the idea is to make a sort of staircase which you can then place these cheese wedge slopes on and they make a straight slope so it's like a perfect triangle. I did put a flat tile on top though so it fits in this space here by the window frame. Now the next thing to do is the interior of the first floor and I'm going to just copy what I've done before from the downstairs area with grey grills running along the walkway with dark red tiles in the middle. I will pop in some jumper plates here and there which will give some spots for us to place some minifigures inside. We want to make this the main control room of the base, still keeping it simple, clutter free, with just two main computer terminals. And my son made this cool map with trans clear studs. It's such a cool idea and looks just like the 3D sort of holographic maps that they have in the Clone Wars TV show. We also want to keep this area a bit more open, so no pillars in the middle, plenty of space to get hands in to play with the figures and move them around. This is an example of it populated with figures, now it's finished, we're using phase 1 standard clones as the computer operators and a few Jedi and Admiral Vilyarin, and the back is meant to be like a space age filing cabinet. <laughs> and here is the basic computer terminals, really keeping it simple, and I like the Transclear map and Chancellor Palpatine, that kind of colour, it looks really nice. We will leave this area for just now, but we will be making the section into a control room for the main turbo laser, which will sit above. So now we're moving on to building the edges of this river. I'm using orange and pink plates as we have loads of them and we'll never see them, so it doesn't really matter what colour they are and it's good to just use them up. We're also using blue studs on side plates, which we've got loads of, and we can add terrain to these on sides which will face outwards and hopefully, hopefully this looks nice in the end and give a banking to the riverside. So it's slowly coming together, on the troop side they've got sandbags which are done using the tan ingot pieces and the idea is to make a sort of bunker built into the sand here and we will eventually fill all the section in making a decent trench for the troops and a bunker and on the other side it'll have some terrain and rock work. So check out the next video to see us finish that off and we'll also start on the turbo laser tower. So hopefully you can join me on the next stage of the project. Thanks so much for watching, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you next time, bye!